We're back with the private jet, but today we're going to be adding systems and definitely making this thing look better. This thing looks really bad when it's not painted. This is like a really weird spawn location too. But anyways, let's get started on this. Let's bring it to the workbench and go ahead and maybe add some radars and stuff. All right, so the first thing we're going to be adding is the radar. We have this radar controller thing right here. And as you can see, hold on, actually, it's kind of out of the zone here. We're going to spawn it right. Actually, don't spawn it in front of the plane. Anyways, as you can see, there's a ton of different monitors this works on. So it doesn't matter what size of the monitor. And that's why we're going to be using this. We're going to go ahead and copy this microcontroller here and just slam it oh wait hold on hold on redo this um where are we putting our microcontrollers at i think we discussed them being about in this section over here i'm gonna block it off a little bit here so we don't actually um make it not watertight i don't know why we're having this area be watertight but like why not so we're gonna be putting this right here and is everything copied over yet yeah, it's okay then we're gonna merge it in and just copy uh the radar and where's the radar at normally on planes i honestly i really don't know maybe in the front but our front area is kind of filled up here it's occupied i mean really it doesn't matter we're just gonna put it also near the logic area probably down here uh, we definitely need to include some type of maintenance hatch because this is a lot of stuff that we'll need repairing if anything does unfortunately happen so we're gonna go to paste this in merge it in. there's a couple other things we have to actually copy over so this is all like the sensors and dials that will go on the radar screen here perfect now that that's all copied over we're gonna go ahead and delete or switch to disabled here and we gotta make this area look a little bit nicer so this button is i think just our engines button we're gonna go ahead and just uh let's see where's the engines button normally located you know we're just gonna slam it right in front of where it was actually at so there we go and then what does this button do i really have no idea i think this is actually the landing gear um yeah it is okay yeah we're gonna keep that probably then we're gonna add a robotic pivot right here and this will kind of curve our entire control panel area okay we're gonna test this out here i did a little bit of a customization so as you can see this one's like way closer yeah i think i heard this one more all right so kind of an interesting setup here i smoothed out the ceiling a little bit and we made this area look quite interesting we're going to do what we can here to make this look good of course so we're going to go ahead and include what's really important here and i think they normally put those like right there and they're called like um horizontal the or artificial horizontal horizon or something like this and we're just going to put it right there hopefully that's correct and then to put the landing gear up we're going to put this down and right here i don't know why but normally it's on the co-pilot side of things and it's kind of down more so normally it's also a lever but we don't have enough room for that now it's time for the radio or i meant radar actually we need a radio on this thing too so we're gonna have our radar be right there and we're just gonna fill the top of this thing uh completely with uh monitors because that's probably just what's gonna happen here um some are probably gonna be maps some are gonna be radios uh radars you know a whole bunch of stuff so we're gonna go to the video feed here middle one is going to be connected directly to the radar and right there perfect and then as we said we also do need the radio in here i totally would have forgot if we wouldn't have mentioned it so we're gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna use the long range antenna right here amazing and i really do not know where we're gonna put this actually we could put it directly down here in the logic compartment okay that's great good we found a spot for that and now we have all the radio stuff we need to copy i did the microcontroller here off screen we're gonna go to video and we're gonna steal the video feed from that monitor and we're gonna use actually which one uses the radio i think they both use the radio so we're gonna have the radio be on both sides right here and then the last monitor right here will likely be the mapping system because uh we definitely need that last thing we need to do for the radio is copy some things over here i can barely see what i'm doing so there's a whole bunch of actual instruments we need to copy um actually we don't really need to copy a lot of this here we're just gonna use this one for now perfect so i think we're gonna put this directly in the center here or is it normally on the bottom center okay so we're just gonna put it right here let's just hope this is actually um right and let's go select this and number two should be wait hold on hold on nope we got it the wrong there we go now it's upright then we're gonna have an indicator be right here so this is gonna be in the center of the screen so this is gonna be our private indicator perfect so it doesn't actually affect that this is gonna be a red dot that will glow if we're being detected by a radar which normally actually um means a missile's probably behind us sometimes that's sometimes what it means so we're gonna go ahead and type in radar detector so stormworks does have uh have these in the game radar detector and this will detect if you are actually being detected by a radar obviously but that's super needed if you're if you have like auto chaff and stuff and you want to try dodging it so we're gonna go ahead and do this i mean there's not really a whole lot we can do in the private jet maybe we could add some countermeasures someone did say add some flares and then of course we 
we cannot forget like the actual main point of the radio here. So we gotta grab the speakers and the microphone we will be using to communicate. And we're gonna put these directly behind the dashboard here because we got a, basically a whole bunch of room. So uh, let's see, click K. That should be all we need for a radio, but I've just realized we don't even have a battery in this thing yet. So where's the battery at in planes? Okay, we can't search this up, but I'm really just thinking we should put it um, also in our maintenance compartment here. And we're gonna have a couple of these, but wait, these actually catch on fire. Hold on. Okay, well, let's just cross our fingers that these batteries actually never uh, actually catch on fire. All right, so we got the two main batteries or the two uh, basically main batteries. Yeah, then we're going to have the single main battery back here, which is just basically um, the main battery that's going to connect to everything. I also just made a cool little microcontroller here that I just made, and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to some things here. So we have the battery charge, which will be connected to there, and we need to spawn in a couple relays, and relays are just electrical things that we're going to have connected to it. So this one will be the main battery relay so let's go ahead and connect a to the main battery here and that's the only thing that will actually connect to the main battery then the rest of these will connect to let's see i think these ones yeah that should be right and then the relays uh lights and then the engine perfect and then since this is the main battery relay we're gonna have to connect this electrical b here to everything we're gonna connect it to so this is everything in the plane that we so far basically have which i probably should have uh connected before bro i've just realized we have doors on both sides uh um, that is definitely not necessary. I'm sorry. I don't know really what I was thinking. I was doing it in symmetry, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, we do not need doors on both sides. So we only need one on this side because it's a private jet. Kind of leaves us with like way more room on this side. So, I mean, here we go. We got a couple things we could probably do here. Perfect. So we got the battery information done. Now we're going to work on hydraulics. So yeah, we're going to actually have some hydraulics in this thing. I don't know exactly if we want to make them like super realistic. Because if we wanted it realistic, I'd make an air compressor in this thing and you know i'd really make it realistic but i don't really think that's necessary exactly because i kind of want to bring this thing in like some fights and i don't want to like you know get shot down immediately by the way that's really the only reason i added this radar thing but yeah we're just gonna have a button to turn on hydraulics which is gonna be a pretty simple system we're gonna add actually you know what why not we're gonna be adding hydraulics so this is a uh, straight out of my fishing boat but i actually customized it quite well to make it a little bit more compact but it should do the same thing but we'll definitely find out if it does because this thing will either take off or it won't take off so we're gonna go ahead and slam this in here somewhere once it'll actually fit so like exactly right here perfect all right nice little hydraulic area okay so i've made another microcontroller this is the hydraulic one we got let's see one two i think we only have two rel relays here which is gonna make this simple so we're gonna have two relays again this relay will be connected to the fin so here we go b will be connected to all of these control fins so you're definitely gonna want this uh hydraulic thing working or else you'll lose control of the entire plane basically it's a, it's it's, a, it's exactly what's going to happen and then the other one is actually going to be the landing gear stuff so we're going to go ahead and disconnect all the robotic stuff we did to the landing gears because we got our own thing we're going to be doing now now that that's all said and done we're going to have a button that's going to be for lights so we're going to have another just giant panel that's going to be exactly right here let's make sure we're actually not destroying this thing all right so we're gonna have a panel um you know what i think we're gonna have it be also right here that'll totally work all right so we got the instrument panel done we're gonna go to connect composites so this will go straight to here and then let's go ahead and check what the first one is so the first one is navigational lights all right so i definitely kind of forgot where those are at all right so the left side is going to be red so we're gonna go ahead and just delete this one right here and this light is going to be red but of course we're gonna type in a toggle not a toggle but we're gonna type in a light and then we're gonna put the light exactly right here paint it white too here and now we got to turn off symmetry so we don't do this to the other side so we're going to go to the additive red and then this side will be green so there we go now we have nav lights and then we got to connect them up oh gosh then we can't forget to connect them to the uh same breaker as the lights right here because if we need to black this thing out for some reason if we got someone following us I, I got a single button we can press to do that for the lights so we should be safe in that regard but i think the next one is landing here so let's go on toggle one yeah, so we have some landing lights these are going to be some spotlights that are normally like um oh let's see i actually really don't know okay well i think we're just going to put them right here and then we'll have another one that just aims kind of just directly downwards right there so type in spotlights and these are just going to be really bright white lights that really should help us uh kind of land here with way more visibility perfect those are all connected up and then the second one or third one is the beacon light so there's actually a beacon on the top of planes here 
here and uh, I don't know, it just kind of blinks. We're going to be doing that. I keep typing button for lights. Okay, please grab a light here. Okay, so now we have our lovely beacon, but this blinks. So we're going to type in blinker, which Stormworks uh, thankfully actually has here. Then let's see, which one is this connected to? I think it's three. That'll go to there. And then that will go to the actual light, which is kind of hard to see because it's there. All right. And then we're going to connect the electrical all to the same grid as always. And then lastly, we have the interior lights button. And then that is going to be number four. Um, we actually have most of that all set up here. So number four is just all interior. So including this one, this one, that's the beacon light. We got to skip over that one. Um, for the bedroom, I think we're going to have the separate lights. Perfect. And then uh, for in here, we also need that mapping thing we were talking about since some of these monitors do uh, are, are definitely missing some things. So we have this really compact thing here. We're going to spawn this in, test it out. Uh, we normally have really bad luck with maps. Let's really hope this one works. All right. So we got our map here and it actually says, I think, our heading, which is really cool. Uh, I think we can zoom out too. Look at that. All right. Yeah, this will totally work. I mean, it's kind of a little pixelated, but it's a one by one monitor. It's not getting any better than that. So we're going to go ahead and copy this, but we got to be sure the compass is actually going to be facing forward here because if this isn't facing forward we're going to get completely wrong um actual directions on where we're facing so let's go ahead and go down here do they use compasses in real life for like gps systems i mean they have to because what else would they use i mean that's actually really cool everything just works out like that like they needed to know which direction we're facing so they found out about a compass actually a compass has been a definitely known thing for a while now i don't know what i'm going on about okay so we have all this down and then the composite here oh i forgot about the G giant microcontroller here actually this is pretty small i'm so thankful we got this little map here um we're gonna put this in here this thing is getting filled up with logic pretty insanely fast i think we might actually have to start stacking it now i don't like stacking but i mean it's fine it makes it easier for repair okay so we got this thing right here the captain will have access to that and same with the video feed so we're gonna just directly connect it up i think we got everything on that needs to be oh wait i just realized we got a really important thing we actually forgot in here and we need a button that actually turns all all of this stuff on so like the backlights and stuff so we're gonna go in here let's see we could probably just make another instrument panel dude writing so many of these so we got the instrument panel we're gonna go to composite and just hook it directly up oh do we even have electric for all these uh we missed like half of them that's fine you know only half the stuff will and won't work that's amazing okay we got it all hooked up this big flip switch on the bottom right here is going to be in charge of all systems so i think we got it connected to this one all right so number one is connected to the backlights i I do remember that and that's really easy so all we got to do is connect it to backlight backlight and then same with all of those then i was nice enough to actually add two lamps in here and we're gonna make these a little bit darker um just so it's easier on the eyes i mean it we don't need it be, to be like blindingly bright in there and then i think this was connected to number two here and then the last one is just going to connect to all the monitors so this one's going to be really easy so number four every single monitor we've just added and let's go to video here do we have everything connected here we're missing two spots I mean, we really don't need a whole lot of monitors in this thing. We could probably just have some blank space, which looks kind of weird in here, but it should definitely work. And then lastly, we need all of our basically dials here that'll tell us our altitude, our speed and all that stuff here. And we're not going to be using just a normal dial. We're going to type an instrument panel and we're going to use everything we did last time, except we don't have to change that. So it's already set up how we want it, except we got to label everything and do all that. So we need an altimeter for this altimeter. I don't know what I just said there. And we're going to put this at the bottom of the plane right next to our landing gear. I think that's normally where they put them in real life. I don't even know how they just track that kind of stuff, so I'm not going to really say anything on it. So uh, the first one was that, and then the second one was our vertical speed, which I think we can use an altimeter on again. Um, I think you can select them. Oh, wait, no, you can't. Oh, no, you use a, lim a linear, linear speed sensor. So we're also going to put this probably in the front of this thing where all of our little dials and sensors are at, or some of them are. And then the speed will go straight to the microcontroller to two. And actually, we got to do a math equation on here i just realized because we're trying to transfer this into knots and we're using meters a second right now and if we go to conversions right here we got the exact thing so 1.9 whatever it says now that that's connected we got the last speed sensor we need and this is the angular speed sensor uh, okay well we're just gonna use the same speed sensor then we can select it and we can go to directional horizontal vertical so now this is how we detect actual vertical speed here which is super cool and uh we gotta connect electric and actually here's what we're gonna 
do just because I'm so used to this stuff. We're going to be moving two of these panel things down over to the actual thing right here. And we're going to put some more engine stuff up here because I totally forgot about the engines. We need to make things to actually start these engines. So let's actually rotate this the correct way. And I think this is the battery information. So I, I mean, it's totally fine being right here. Merchant in. Oh, wait, no, these are all the lights, but we're also going to be transferring the battery one. Ooh, now it's starting to look pretty cool in here. We're going to move some of these around. So uh, wait, should we? Yeah, we definitely are because we need the two engines one to be side by side so in these engine ones they're gonna be just like the fuel switches and the rps oh i totally forgot about the rps oh my gosh you know what we have to do a lot of stuff i'll do off screen oh my gosh what button is it all right so number one is connected to the engine one fuel pump um is that even a thing do we have a fuel pump oh gosh i don't know okay i think i got everything worked out let's cross our fingers and hope we can actually take off all right there's a whole bunch of stuff we actually haven't tested yet i haven't tested anything matter of fact so let's go in this thing and start clicking some buttons so we got our batteries here main power on um, we're gonna do lights power engine power and then let's see systems on also that should have turned on all these monitors um i don't know why they're not on yeah as you can see without power you literally can't click any of the clickable buttons so turn on all that and then we're gonna do systems on um inside lights oh gosh okay yeah so lighting lights they obviously work a little bit blinding that's fine though that's normally how lighting lights are inside lights obviously work and let's see that's not actually how we start engines anymore um Wait, hold on. How do we do this? Engine power's on. Engine, engine, hydraulics, hydraulics. Although, why are those push? No. There we go. Now systems actually work. And then uh, I forgot to connect composite, but that's awesome. We got that working. We're going to turn on the lights in here, which uh, inside light. There we go. Um. Oh, wait, no. Those were supposed to be connected to the cockpit. Hold on. I think this actually might be up here. I'm still getting used to all this. Hydraulics are fixed. Lights power. Oh, don't do that. Um, why is the lights power affecting the engines? Oh my gosh, there's so many things that are wrong right now. Okay, that has now been fixed. As you can see, main power's on. This engine power. There we go. All right, fixed. Oh my gosh, 20 minutes later, and this thing on. We got to take this thing off. We got to hurry up. This is taking forever. Okay, turn on all lights. I don't care. Backlights, cockpit lights. Okay, those all work amazing. And engine is making really um awesome noises maybe hydraulics um oh my gosh there's something wrong with my plane i don't know so please explain to me stormworks why our fuel is going down in an idled plane do we have like a fuel leak what's going on i really couldn't tell you i'm not seeing any particles not seeing anything drain i don't know what's going on that's just our fuel calmly just going down for no reason i really hope that's a glitch or something and it's continuing to go down okay just turn on everything we're taking off infinite fuel i don't care this is a stormworks issue at this point um oh yeah that's not how you start the engines there we go and they're not gonna start because infinite bl has to be on because stormworks is trash right now stormworks is having a mental breakdown okay so we're gonna turn that on awesome and let's see if we don't need infinite fuel yeah we definitely do okay stormworks is still continuing to be trash all right full clear for takeoff here we go we're finally gonna be taking this thing off and um hydraulics are not working at all well this is a, a takeoff without hydraulics i guess yep well, this thing's pretty fast oh Oh, wow okay um interesting okay we got a stable hydraulic pressure right now i can't even see how fast the dial's moving because i think it's breaking the sound barrier here for takeoff and oh roll is inverted okay i'm literally not even touching anything oh my god okay lovely and here we go we are in the air and i'm comfortably flying this thing we're gonna put the landing gear up um do we have enough hydraulic power for that um okay i guess not maybe infinite electric okay yep it is a hydraulic issue we turned it off right yeah we did okay i don't know and it does look like the uh, landing gears decided not to fit in the landing gear area anymore unless that's how it was i don't exactly remember but we do have this thing flying i think i did promise we were gonna paint this thing today so let's go ahead and do that real quick so normally they do stay pretty white we're gonna delete all these things on the outside i don't know what's going on here they do normally uh have like i've seen black on them like they just like have a black stripe that goes down the line and it just they call that cool like, but i'm sure no one would mind a blue stripe that goes down because why not wait what happens when it gets to the tail does it still go um i don't know i feel like that looks kind of weird okay well let's just cross our fingers that's normally what they do i really don't know guys i mean i really i'm not a jet person i mean it looks cool though not gonna lie this looks like a mini air force one with this blue stripe going down we're gonna add another one just because like why not all right um yeah this totally looks like air force one okay just to kind of like not make it look like a presidential plane we added black to it and i think that doesn't look 
look too bad. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about this. Then we're going to add some black down here to the little bin. Okay, that looks uh, interesting. And maybe we can do something like maybe add some even more black on the wing here. Do they do that? I don't know. I just definitely need to have and see more detail on this wing. Oop, don't paint that. Oh my gosh, I'm just a mess today. Wait, that actually doesn't look too bad. I'm liking this. Then we're going to be painting these beastly giant engines just black. All right, that looks cool. And I don't know about y'all, but I think this thing looks pretty sweet. Um, it goes pretty fast too. I'm going to make it even more faster, probably off screen here, but that's going to be it for this private jet building video. Let me know what we should add to this thing next. If there really is anything to add, maybe we could add like a defense system or something, but let me know if we should do that. And if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and join the discord server. Link is in the description, but thank you guys all for watching till the end and goodbye.